Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Two Creeks Outdoors. Uh, today's something a little bit different. I am going to take you around my town. I'm going to show you a few of the places where I fish. And I'm going to tell you what we catch. I'm going to tell you how to get there. I'm going to tell you what the place has to offer. Because I live in a pretty unique area, uh, which is Tilbury, Ontario. But within five to ten minutes of my house, I could be kept busy every day. Unfortunately, I have to work some days, but other than that, there's a lot to do here. So stay with me. I'm going to show you around. first stop takes us to Jeanette's Creek now this particular creek behind me is my one of my go-to creeks for catching bass crappy and extremely large pike now this creek is one of the creeks in our name two creeks outdoors this is a dead-end creek it ends right here and it goes for about 300 meters out to the Thames River we're gonna head down there now so as you can possibly tell, we're, we're about halfway down the creek here. This water up here is very clean, which compared to the Thames River is like mud right now. It's about three and a half feet deep in the middle and probably about 40 feet across. And we're going to continue on to the mouth. This particular spot that I'm at right here is great for crappy fishing in about a month. Uh, when bass season opens in June, the largemouth are stacked up in here because of all the structure in the water. Now the road that runs alongside this creek is a dead end road and it comes out to a parking lot and a boat ramp. It's also known as Government Dock. It's a free boat launch and uh, it's well used throughout uh, musky season as well as walleye season in the river. All right, so behind me here we have the Thames River and this is the boat launch that's free. Now the dock's not in yet. Actually half the dock's here. The dock that actually floats in the water is not in yet, but it's free. So when you come down here to go fishing, Launch your boat, park your truck, you head up the river behind me, approximately two minutes, you're now on Lake St. Clair. So as you can see up the river there, right around that bend, approximately a minute and a half, two minutes up the river is the mouth of the Thames River. And that takes you right out onto Lake St. Clair. For those of you that like catfishing, this river is loaded with catfish. Now behind me is a waterfowl reserve, and this is a hunting club, the Baptiste Hunt Club. Um, they do have limited hunting in there, but that's a private club, and obviously public's not allowed to hunt there. But you can hunt in the river, and you are a legal distance away from this club to do the honey so get a lot of ducks out of that river and a lot of geese let's head over to the next one all right guys our second stop takes us to the second creek in two creeks outdoors which is right here again I apologize for the wind noise now I don't fish from shore here I use my boat and there's quite a bit of bass up in this creek and it is directly connected to the Thames River 
that over there is Lucan Marina. And this particular creek running in this direction under the train bridge runs for miles right into the town of Tilbury. I apologize for my unsteadiness, but this over here, as you can see that marshland over there, that's the back side of the Baptiste Hunting Club. That's usually loaded with waterfowl. However, today we have two geese that do not want to come up from behind that tree. We are now leaving Jeanette's Creek. We are going to head to our last stop on this installment. Now this isn't exactly in Chatham Kent, but it is within five minutes of my residence. It's called Lighthouse Cove. It's in the uh, municipality of Lakeshore, County of Essex. So this place here is really unique. So we are in Lighthouse Cove, which is in Lakeshore. Now here's the easiest way to show you how this is actually set up with these canals. All right, this behind me as we are in Lighthouse Cove, this is the main channel. It runs for about a mile behind me, and it makes a right. It offshoots, well, it actually goes straight ahead to a really small creek, but the main part of the channel then turns right and goes right out to Lake St. Clair. This main channel, feeds all the smaller channels which you'll see here in a second when I go around to the front side of this block. So this is about anywhere from seven to nine feet deep in the center. The sides go right up actually this yeah the sides go right up to about a foot of water and there's a nice reed line that runs all the way down one side. The other side is full of dogs. Now I've had no problems really fishing out here. No one has ever come up to me and said hey get away from my dock or anything like that. Of course, I was laying on a guy's dock and he still never said anything. The canals are all roughly this long. This is the last canal. The entrance is at the other end. This is how they're set up. Awesome bass fishing. So you gotta get the picture there. So at the, uh, rather than take you all the way to the end, we're gonna go into the Lighthouse Cove Community Park. So as you can see here in the park, they have a full playground for your kids, a pavilion, and it's right on one of the canals. And here you have it. These are, all the canals are basically set up just like this right here. They all, they all pretty much open up to a Y at the dead end. As you can see, the water is pretty clean today as well. And they all travel for about 200 meters, 250 meters, down to the main canal that runs off of Lake St. Clair. Now I want you to have a look at this dock right here. And I got a funny story. I don't have the video unfortunately, but I have a funny story. I got a brand new motor on my boat, Mercury 20 horse. It's got all the shifter throttle, everything is all in the hand grip. So I was trying to fish out of the front of the boat. My beautiful wife is with me. She's learning how to run the motor. I asked her, I says, can you take me close to that dock over there? I want to flip under the dock. Keyword here is going to be flip. She's coming in hot to that dock. Runs the bow of the boat underneath the dock. I'm on the bow. I'm yelling to back up. Well, it's all on the same control. She hits reverse, but she hits it hard. She literally spit me off the front of the boat onto that person's dock over there. 
then had to figure out how to work the boat to get back to pick me up off the dock. So myself and my fishing rod are laying on this dock over here and Jen's out in the boat. She wants to laugh but she thinks I'm mad but actually I couldn't stop laughing. It was hilarious. That would have been a great video but I didn't have it on. So you might think that was the end of her boat driving that day but it wasn't. She eventually got the hang of it. Uh, she doesn't necessarily like driving a boat while I fish. All right, so here in Lighthouse Cove, this is the other boat launch. It runs right off of the main road here. That's a Coast Guard station right over there. And this will take you out onto the Thames River. Now, if you're looking east on the Thames River, you see that bend? When we were in Jeanette's Creek down at the government dock, that's the bend I was talking about. And just on your right, down there, try and get to that right there. That's Luke and Marina. So as you see, everything's fairly close. So once you round the bend, you are now at, and I apologize for the wind, the mouth of the Thames River where it meets Lake St. Clair. When I tell you that I waterfowl hunt out here, this is why. These green heads are everywhere. All right guys, so this is Lake St. Clair behind me. Um, in about May, the lake out there is gonna be a parking lot with boats because the walleye are gonna be in. And you'll literally be close to bumping into each other. That's how many boats get out there. So that's gonna be the video for today. It's not much, I just thought I'd show you a bit about what Chatham Ken has to offer within a five minute radius of my residence. I got it pretty lucky here, there's no doubt there. And so does everyone else that lives around this area. So that's going to about do it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share our videos, and uh, come back for the next one. We got more places to go here in Chatham Kent. Happy hunting, happy fishing. in our title, Two Creeks Outdoors. Good morning. There, I want to flip under the dock. Keyword here is going to be flip. <laughs>